You might be here to learn about the different parts of the San Francisco Bay Area. I actually live here and will show you that other than learning where all the bridges are, the lay of the land is really pretty simple to figure out. At the end of this video, you'll hear how these areas rank from most to least expensive places to live in. Hi, I'm Jen Kogan, Realtor with Dudum Real Estate Group in the San Francisco East Bay. If you don't know where that is, you will in just a minute. So the San Francisco Bay Area, which most of us just call the Bay Area, is a big region in Northern California with well over 7 million people and anchored by the cities of San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose. There are nine counties considered the Bay Area. We'll start with San Francisco, the most famous part, and what has been the economic and cultural heart of this whole area for hundreds of years. I think of it like a thumb. Here's the map. Do you see the thumb? Just the top part of the thumb is San Francisco. You've heard of its famous fog and cool summers. Those are due to having the Pacific Ocean on the west, the bay on the east, and then warm air from inland coming in. There are actually under a million people living in, the, in San Francisco, which might surprise you for a city this famous. Here's a random fun fact about San Francisco. The fortune cookie was invented by a Japanese resident of San Francisco. So now, Crossing the Golden Gate Bridge at the northern end of San Francisco, you get to the North Bay. The North Bay consists of Marin, the southern part of Napa County, southern Sonoma County, and Solano County. The next time you're in Solano County, don't miss the really fun Jelly Belly factory tour. They also have a small wine region nearby and some good outlet shopping. So Marin County is very affluent like most of the Bay Area. I guess it used to be a big hippie area, probably less so now. Marin has amazing beaches on the Pacific Ocean and incredible views of San Francisco across the bay. Napa and Sonoma are world famous wine regions and huge tourist destinations. Now if you go back to San Francisco and take the Bay Bridge East, cutting right across the bay, you get to the East Bay. Quick fact about this bridge. When it opened on November 12, 1936, the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge was the longest bridge in the world, spanning four and a half miles over the water. Now there are two counties in the East Bay, Alameda and Contra Costa. Right as you get over the bridge, you'll be in Berkeley or Oakland. Oakland is a large and sophisticated city in itself. Pixar is headquartered here. And UC Berkeley is obviously in Berkeley. To get to Contra Costa County, you can go through the Caldecott Tunnel and that's my neck of the woods. We're about 25 miles from San Francisco, and one of the warmer regions in the Bay Area because we're more inland and we get way less fog. We're known for our views of Mount Diablo, the city of Walnut Creek for shopping and dining, and the beloved La Marunda area and also the large city of Concord. Below the East Bay is the South Bay or Santa Clara County, anchored by San Jose and lots of world famous tech companies. The map lines blur a little here, but Silicon Valley is in the South Bay, reaching up to part of the peninsula. The peninsula is the last part of the Bay Area. This is San Mateo County, and it's this narrow strip of land just south of San Francisco with the ocean on one side and the bay on the other. Oracle and Facebook have their headquarters on the peninsula, and the San Francisco International Airport is here. As you can imagine, this is some really prime real estate. We used to live there, and it's an amazing location with the city just north of you and then Silicon Valley just south of you. A brief note on Bay Area transportation. If you're thinking about moving here, there is public transportation in this whole area. BART, our subway system, runs everywhere except the North Bay. It runs 131 miles and has 50 stations, so it could be an alternative to driving. If you're going to work in one part of the Bay and live in another and wonder how long your commute will be, I'll tell you now. It's going to take a long time. There are over 7 million people here and they're going to school and working and creating traffic. There are eight major bridges and lots of spots for gridlock. So be sure to talk to someone who knows the local area because your drive could be an hour longer than you even expect. So last off, ranking counties by median home price will give you a very general idea of which parts of the Bay Area are the most and least expensive to live in. The rankings change a bit depending on the year, but starting with the most expensive, we have number one, San Mateo County on the peninsula, then San Francisco, Marin, Santa Clara, 
Then comes Alameda, followed by Napa, Contra Costa, Sonoma, and lastly, Solano. I'm in Contra Costa County where there's a very big range of home prices depending on the community. So just message me if you want to find out a little more. See you next time.